To create a new text area, select the text tool and drag to create a rectangular marquee. Then add your text to the area. If you drag on one of the corners of the marquee, you can change the dimensions of the text area and the text within it will flow to match the new area. If you create another text area, then you can make the text flow from one area to another by dragging the red flow arrow to the new area. If you create a new page, then the text will flow over to a text area on the new page. If you want to create a large text document, then you might want to consider using one of the one column templates. Now what happens is that you have a blank document with a single text area. Add text to the document and when you reach the bottom of the page the text flows onto a new page which is automatically created for you. You can turn this feature on for any text area by right clicking on a text area and choosing Advanced Text Properties. Then select Automatically Create New Pages from the dialog box. You'll notice that the new page contains all the page elements of the previous page like headers, footers and background. If you change a text area in one section of your document, you'll be asked if you want the change to apply to all similar text areas throughout your document, or if you just want the change to affect the selected area. If you want to create columns, just click in the text area with the text tool selected, and then click on the Columns button. Choose the number of columns you want to create, and again you'll be prompted to apply the change to just the selected area or throughout the document. Finally, if you want to insert column or page breaks into your document, right-click in the text area and select Insert and then Page or Column Break 